Do 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 Scott Studio. Hey, what's up, everybody? George here from Scott Studio. Hey, thanks for joining me here on YouTube. Today, I am doing a review of the Roland Juno DS61. I just unboxed this board, um, so I'm going to check it out. I needed a uh, board that um, I could grab and go. Um, I usually have my Yamaha Mo8, and it's huge and it's heavy. So I was trying to find something, and this one caught my eye. As you can see, uh, it has black keys instead of white keys. It's a limited edition of this board. Um, so it just looks super sleek on the stage. Um, so I decided I tried it out. Like I said, it's not like a $4,000 keyboard, um, but um, it does have a thousand sounds on it and some other things. So I'm going to check this out. Um, as this is coming on, just so you know, um, I don't have any EQ on this. Um, I have it running through an audience interface. Um, but that is it. There's no EQ, no mastering software. This is just bare bones, uh, the keyboard. All right. Now, I will say if you're a pianist, um, the keys are super light. It's not weighted keys uh, for 61. If you want the weighted keys, you probably want to go with the, the uh, Juno DS88. Um, <clears throat> that has weighted keys. Uh, but this does not have weighted keys. All right. Of course, uh, you only have 61 keys, so you don't have that far to go. But you do have a transpose button, um, so that you know if you want it an octave up, an octave down, you can basically just hit the button, and it will do as such. Okay. This is just a grand piano. I don't know how well you'll be able to see the screen up there. Um, but this is just a regular flat out piano. Not bad for what it is. So I think if you EQ'd it, it may not be bad. Um, if you have, this is a rock piano. So he's a little bit brighter. Not bad for what it is. Um, so it's not like I said, it's not going to be like the top of the line uh, Roland Phantom or the Yamaha line Roland Motif. But it doesn't sound like, uh, you know, you only got a hundred dollar board either. Kind of in the middle. This is a nice piano. That's what it's called. Nice piano. Warm Vox. And as you know, Roland is really known for those synth voices. So this has a really nice touch to it. Um, your... Uh, Midi to grand. All right, not bad, not bad. Uh, West Coast. Not bad, not bad. Uh, let's do a couple more in here and then we'll explore some of the other ones. This is a JV E piano. All right. 80s FM is what this is called. All right. 
All right, and I know they have a lot of other piano sounds in there, but I want to explore some of this other stuff. All right, you can jam out a little bit with that. All right, here's one thing that I really like about this board is um, if you are a man band of one, you should be able to create everything. Drum pads, um, layer your voices, or do a split key. Now what's cool about this is it does have a split button right here. And when I hit that, it automatically pops a bass guitar down below. So I don't have to go searching for it or anything like that. And then here you have lower and upper. So your lower um, is what you can raise um, or lower for your volume as far as how much you want in there. All right. Then if you want to change your other voice, you just highlight it in the screen and you can press any of these keys or scroll back in a patch that you're in. Um, so I'm going to go back to West Coast. And I play for a Pentecostal church, so, you know, you know, you got to And then what you can do also is um, if you are whichever one that you're in that you have it highlighted either your up or your lower you can either lower the octave or up the octave so what I'm going to do for the west coast I'm going to lower the octave so I can get some of that mid range out all right so not bad for what it is. Um, so that's how the split works. Let's let's explore some other ones. Let's turn the split off. Um, I'm gonna go to keyboard and organ. This is Fantasia. All right. Now what's cool about these, ooh, that's kind of nice. I got surprised there. I'm going to have to layer that under something later. <laughs> All right. Now what's cool about this is right now I'm in the keyboard E piano range. But if I wanted to skip to organ, keyboard and organ are in the same category. But if I want to get to the organs, I just hit the button twice and it sends me right to the organ section. And then if I hit it again, it sends me back to the keyboard section, all in that same one. So that's cool. I don't have to scroll through all of them to get to what I need to get to. Um, all right, so this is a perky twin organ. Now, from what I understand, we're going to try this out. This little bar over here is also a rotary bar. Um, so you can actually add in some rotary. So let's try this out. So. Okay, all right. So what I did was when I tapped it once, it adds in the rotary. And when I take it out, 
takes the rotary out, which is kind of cool. All right, we might be doing a little something here. And of course, there's a whammy. You can create some vibrato if you want, for a fact. Uh, all right, let's see. Perch organ, we got a blues perch. So kind of like, kind of a little bit of that old school style organ. And like I said earlier, I don't have anything EQ. This is just raw keyboard. Uh, you probably can do a whole lot of stuff if you're running it through your uh, programs or EQ or what have you, but this is just straight up what it is. This is a D550 organ. This is a D52 organ. As you can see, I'm moving my bar there. Alright, let's do a couple more. Let's see, hard rock organ. Um, so you have actually a lot of organs in here. So you're bound to find something that might work for what you're doing. This is a full stop organ. Now, I haven't tried this button yet. There's a button up here that says Super Layer. Um, it's supposed to kind of detune and actually add your um, voice layers three times under it. Or you can increase it to four, five, or six, which is crazy. Um, so I'm going to hit this button. Oh. All right, I'm going to turn it off so you can hear the difference. This is without it. This is with it. You hear that extra layer go under? That's a cool feature. I like that. Okay. All right. Uh, let's see. Let's get out of there. Let's go back here. All right, so let's do some other ones. This is the guitar. This is acoustic guitar SRX. Bazooki. Uh, let's see what else they got in here. Electric guitar. Maybe not so much on the guitars. They are right. This is guitar rock. All right. This is slap bass. That's not bad. We got slap bass. Ooh. Synth bass. You got, it's not synth bass in here. It says Gaia A1 bass. I'm going to have to look up exactly what all that means. 
but it sound like a little bit of a synth. Short bass, five stack bass, electro bass, side chain bass, wobble bass. All right, auto wobble. So you got all growl bass. All right, so you got all types of stuff in here for bass. Electric bass slide. So that's for an effect if you want to put that in. Um, all right. Then you got 12 string guitar, nylon guitar. Bright nylon, pure nylon, thick steel, wide acoustic. It says so good, is what that's called. Uh, you got jazz guitars. Way too many for me to go through on here, but you have a plethora of guitar choices. Let's do some pads and some synths real quick. Uh, this is Chorus LS. This is Ooms. This is Vocal Ensemble. Says vocal ensemble, but it's a nice synth. You probably can do some things with that. This is uh, Vok fifth stack, so this is still under the vocal pads. All right. This is Robot Saw. Square Rise So this is Rise Up Wow They weren't kidding That was just one note Jeez, wow Auto vibe, auto vibrato, pitch envelope. This is choir. Noise, so for effects. All right, now we're in our pass. This is soundtrack. This is one of my favorites, Orbit, because you can slip it under so many voices and it works. Let me show you. So I'm going to go back to keyboard because I just realized, that, I mean piano, I just realized I didn't show you the dual button. So we have a dual button up here that I can hit and it automatically splits my screen into two. So piano is the first voice, second voice under it is finger bass because that's the default. So I'm going to go over here and hit vocal pad to go under it. I'm going to hit it twice so I can get to that um, orbit pad is what it's called. And then I have upper and lower. So lower is the dual voice that you put in under. So I'm going to lower it a little bit. And I'm going to change this one to rock piano. This hat. So, although that piano wasn't that great earlier, when you add these scents and these pads under it, it just makes it nice. All right. 
So that's not bad. All right, let's take the dual off. Let's go back to the vocal pads. Let's see what else they got. So that was orbit pad. This is soft pad two. Far East XP. Jupiter. Jazz Doos. <laughs> Choir Oz. You know, all your standard stuff. Choir Ooh. Angels Choir. Synthetic Orchestra. Or, I'm sorry, Opera. So this is vocal and pad. Um, that is the um, section we're in. That's Angelique. Vox pad. Vox pad two. Not bad, not bad at all. Gospel ooze. Choir and strings. All right, let's look at some synths. Like I said, there's over a thousand voices on this, so we're not gonna exhaust this at all. I'm just really scratching the surface. Just so you can get an idea of how it sounds. And so I can get an idea of how it sounds, honestly. Analog lead. Not bad. Not bad. This is synth solo. say I'm literally just playing off the cuff none of this is playing I'm just playing random stuff EDM saw lead square lead TB distance square trap square lead oh PF sync lead When used in the right context, that could be something else, I tell you. <laughs> Rajasthan or Zastani LS. That's quite a name. Um, Eddie Boost. Pearson Lead. Tri Stack Lead. D50 Stack. And as you know, earlier we had a D50 organ that we previewed as well. Now that's nice. This is Stack Heaven. Uh, S-T-A-C-C -C with a dot. So that's abbreviation for something. Alright. So you got some as you heard, the synth rolling never fails gave me some awesome synth sounds. Very cool. Future pad, sugar keys. Wow. Gaia F-3 TRNS. I gotta look at what the abbreviation is. That's nice.
That's Super Saws. Bustranza. 80s Poly. Fat Analog. We're going to do maybe a couple more. Strobot 2. Step Trance 2. I wonder. Let's hit Arpeggio. Uh, I don't have it set up. There is an arpeggio button up here, so we, you should be able to set up to do some cool things there. This is growl sense. That's hover lead, which is cool as well. So, obviously they didn't fail in the synth uh, department whatsoever. Um, we also got orchestra up here for your strings. This is stage strings. Soft strings. Strings. Full strings. Film octaves. GX strings. Slow strings XP. Mood strings. Strings in choir. JPH strings. Violin. Violin slide. Electric violin. Electric violin two. Electric violin slide. String Ensemble, Juno Strings, Chamber String 1, Chamber String 2, Staccato, Pizzicato, Pizzicato and Staccato, Sahara Strings. That's kind of nice. Yeah. Some nice surprises on this board, honestly. Um, random mood. X Hall string. Delay quartet. Pop strings one. Pop strings two. Pop strings three. White strings. JV strings. Marcado, and then we've got strings 101 there are a lot in here uh, like I said nowhere near going to exhaust they also have world up here sitars host of sitars techie drop troubadour ensemble Electric sitar, Pat is away. That's an interesting name. Nice Columbi. Quiet River. Arlia Hop. Harpiness. Skydiver. Jameson. Juno Kudo. Monsoon. Ben Kodo Kudu. So a whole lot going on there. And you also got a brass section. Brass RD, R&R Brass, Session Brass, Trumpet 2, Trumpet 2WP, Trumpet Soft, Tr Trumpet Ludwig P, a little bit brighter, a little bit more forward. Jump brass. JP8000 brass. Sax 2. Sax with pad. Sax soft with pad. Sax loud with pad. Or our sax 2. Not 
not bad for the alto sax. I like how it has that nice vibrato on there. Blow, alto. Bright brass, breakout brass. Trombone section. All right, so yeah, a lot of cool stuff up here. Um, just a couple other notes. Um, there is uh, your knobs that are up here. You got a cutoff, resonance, attack, and release button. But you also have access to, you can plug in a mic in the bottom and the back and actually plug in your microphone and sing and add reverb and all types of stuff to that and run it out to your system. Um, chorus and delay, you can add that to your voices, which we didn't really do. Uh, but you can add that effect. And you got access to your reverb, so you can turn it up or down um, in real time and it's very easy to get to. Then you can assign your other four knobs on the third tier. Um, so you can look at those and actually um, assign your um, rhythm pads, backing tracks, and that things up there that you can also do with this board. Um, so my synopsis is for what it is, not bad. It's actually got some nice surprises up here. Um, I think it's a good travel board. Um, like I said, it doesn't have weighted keys. So if you're looking for weighted keys, this is not the board to get. It's very light keys. You can change the touch sensitivity um, if you want, um, but the keys are light. The board is very light, is like five pounds. Uh, I think it says 11 pounds on the site for the board, but it's feathered like, I mean, it's extremely light. Um, so if you want something to carry that won't break your back, this is the board to do. Um, so overall, pretty cool. So I hope that was helpful. Maybe it helped you decide whether you want this board or not. Like I said, I got it just as a travel board. Um, and I think it'll do well for what it is. Um, so again, George here from Scott Studio. Make sure you share, like, and subscribe. Um, and then you come back to our channel for more reviews. Um, check out our tutorials. Check out our channel now, Worship, down in the bottom. And we also offer online lessons. So if you want piano lessons, guitar, vocal lessons, that link is also below. Schedule with us and uh, you'll see us online. Uh, again, George A. from Scott Studio. Thanks for joining me. And I will see you next time. <laughs> Scott Studio. Scott Studio.